Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Smith in the Outdoors. I know it's been a while, but I'm back now, and I'm going to have a fishing video pretty soon. But today, we are opening this LTV, this new new box. Looks pretty cool, you can see it's got like topographic maps on it. And let's get into it. Alright guys, let's see what we got in here. The slice is open. Got the golden ticket. Got some... Tiger Balm. Don't really know what that's for. We'll figure that out later. Got what got uh, recommendations of what they use. Got the cool wrapping paper the last time. Got the uh, magazine hanging out one dropped. So the first thing that dropped is this little this little uh, grass. Thing I, I can't remember what it's called. Let me find the thing where it says all this stuff is. Alright, guys, I cannot find it where the what's inside is, so you're gonna have to bear with me here. Right now, right here, we got some bruiser bruiser baits. These little frogs, little hollow body frogs. Next, we got this grass thing, the grass burner. I saw this in a video, the thing looked very nice. I'm excited to try that out. Then we got these uh, pop smash. Z-Man, Z-Man Frogs. I saw a video on this also. These look very nice, I'll get into that later. Then we got this, this spook here. The Flea Bag 110, looks very nice. And then we had some Mustad hooks. And now let's get, let's get a close look at them. All right, so starting off with these Bruiser Baits, they look very nice. They're like red, but you think they go, you see the green in it too. It looks black up top, but you stretch it, it looks green. I saw a video on these, this, they had a couple different ways to, to tie them up, which is very good. I would recommend it. All you got to do is look up uh, LTB, and this channel should pop up, and they show they show pretty much how to do, how to fish with them. Then let's see what we got in the next one. Next, we got the Pop Shads. I saw a video on these also, which they looked awesome. You can throw these many different styles. Look nice. They're really stretchy. Really, really stretchy and hard to break. These are uh, some type of elastic. I don't I don't remember what it's called, but it makes it really they're like really stretchy, and the more you stretch it, the harder it is to break. So that's really cool. And they're like you can you can pop them, you can do a bunch of different things with them. So that looks cool. It'll be fun to try these out. Next we got the very shiny spook. got some awesome coloring on it looks wicked cool excited to try this one out I haven't seen a video on this but I'm sure there's gonna be one and then next we got just the mustad hooks not really gonna do anything on them because they're just hooks and but they are for these little pop sheds so thank you guys for watching another episode of Smith in the Outdoors and I hope you guys liked and enjoy and there's definitely more content soon in the future so stay tuned for some more awesome content. Alright guys, so I found it and that's what they are. So you guys want to take a look at them. The grass burner is $25. That's crazy. That's awesome value. That's why I would recommend these LTB boxes anytime. Because you're getting like $35, $40 worth of baits. And this isn't even the XL box. This is just a regular one. But the XL box, you get two more baits. Which is, the two other ones are $17 bucks for $10 more. Which is awesome value. I would recommend it to anybody. Thank you guys for watching.